what is up everybody welcome back to another video this is pico os 4 this is of course the beta and for some reason it comes with the cosmic terminal it won't in its final state but do we have we don't even have fast fetch installed well i guess you're just gonna have to take my word for it aren't you now pico s4 makes the journey from ubuntu to pure debian well i guess not pure debian they took what was broken in Ubuntu and turned it into Pico OS 3, which was an amazing step forward for gaming on, you know, Uba, Debian based distros. Pico OS was groundbreaking. It still is. And they took it one step farther by removing the hindrance in their way and bringing it to Debian and then fixing everything wrong and outdated with Debian and making it into a stable I guess you can call it a, a rolling release almost because this is up to date with Arch, which is ridiculously cool, by the way. Uh, we're using my 3070 laptop GPU here. And as you can see, I am currently on the 6.10.7 kernel. I want to be on the 6.11 kernel. I'll do that later. Uh, but man, I got to say, this is one kick-ass distro. I'm not even going to downplay it or give any hate to the fact that it's Debian, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I am impressed to Helen back about how smooth, about how up to date, about how this fixed every single issue that I had with anything Debian or Ubuntu related and put it in the right space where it's fast, it's efficient, and it is brutal and it's beautiful. And the fact that they had to rebuild most of all of Debian to get it done, update the packages, the hell that they went through, is an amazing feat all on its own. I am impressed. And honestly, what they've done is truly amazing. And that is just, there's no, there's no other way to put it. Now, I know there's a lot of people that think Debian's only good for servers. And you know what? Well, in its current state, just normal Debbie and you're right but this this is good for video editing this is good for image manipulation as people like to call it now uh that term seems to be very popular or photoshop or uh affinity photo which i've actually have installed on the desktop version of this back at my desktop because i'm at my uh i'm with my kids for the weekend so it's nice so testing this on two platforms was really good and so far there's been no nvidia issues there's a small, slight loss in performance, but it's kernel related. So eventually, hopefully they'll figure that out. It's definitely not all in my head or on my side alone. I've had uh, a few friends test it here and there and they have the same issue. Um, let me see if I can try to describe this to you. Normally, when we're at the Wizard Tower in Guild Wars 2, on the settings that I used to play, and we're staring into the wizard's tower there's a ton of geometry around so it's a very hard hitting we get between 59 to 80 fps depending on where we look inside the wizard's tower okay and with the current kernel with scx off we get 47 fps so that's that's a big drop on nabora right now with the 6.10.7 kernel from cache os we end up getting you know 59 to 80 FPS, just like we should. Cache OS, same thing. Pico OS 3, it's good performance, same as Cache and Nabora. But with Pico OS 4, it being a beta, there's bound to be issues. I'm going to fully explain that. Developers are well aware of it. Hopefully, they'll be able to find out what it is. Hopefully, they'll be able to fix it. Now, what have I tested so far on this? Well, I tested control, it ran normally. Uh, there was about a 10 FPS loss, again, due to the kernel. Testing it with the 6.11 kernel returned all my performance. Testing it with the 6.10.7 kernel, unfortunately, it turned some of the performance, but not all the performance, so I'm wondering if it's patch-related, because I don't really think the 6.10, the 6.11 kernel has any patches in it. So I'm, my guess, my guess is one of the patches is doing something a little funky with my desktop and my laptop, so... Uh, that actually could be an issue. So let's go over what this will bring to you and how good it is. It's got an update system. This, by the way, 
in case you don't know, is the same driver manager that is actually inside of Nabora because, well, the same developer worked on it. And I wonder if I can actually get it open because it doesn't seem to be wanting to open at all. Uh, there we go. Network error. Huh? Yeah, I honestly, I think that it's, uh, I don't know what it's doing because my network's fine. It is. It's totally not my fault. Let's try that again. And hopefully, there we go. Yeah, see? So it's got the 5.60 driver. This is 3503. I'm running this one right now. Uh, the driver is not to blame for my performance issues, by the way, because if it was, the 6.11 kernel would show the same thing, which is nice. So that's that's a good little thing to have right there. It'll install your patented media codecs and libraries. Uh, it'll update your system. You can install web apps. This installs Steam, Lutris, Go Overlay, Mango Hud, Wine, Wine Tricks, VK Salt. The wine that they have is 9.16, the last that I tried. We can always open up a terminal and look by doing wine config and taking a look. I haven't opened it up yet this time, but uh, it says 9.14 at the moment, so maybe it needs to be updated. I don't know. Last I tried on my desktop, it was 9.16. Anyway, hopefully this wine comes with OpenCL, which is very important, by the way. As you can see, you can install Protein, Proton Up QT, and that application is needed to install custom versions of Proton, like GE's Proton, unable to locate, of course. Uh, device configurations for controllers and VR equipment. Uh, install Microsoft's True Fonts, which is nice and helps with a lot of things. Ugh, not even going to talk about any of that. And then again, their OBS. Now, their OBS is pretty cool. If I go like this and we disable that, uh, you'll notice that it has a lot of the important things and more probably will be coming to it once it gets ported over. But screen capture and there's game capture and with uh, screen capture, of course, you can go to properties, select, and we can go to here and select whatever we need. The point being is it's full and it has everything that a person could want and more will, of course, be added. It's got look and feel, so you can change, you could choose the desktop layout if you wanted. I can launch this and, well, I don't know if this actually works yet or not, but normally you launch this and you choose the desktop layout and get new icons and themes from the ping theming store add extensions to your desktop as you can see i've already done that and more close it has it has a problem with closing i don't know why i don't know what i've ever done to it but it hates me so arc menu we need to install that hopefully it will be fixed by the time uh the final version of this comes around again it's beta and here's the here's the really cool part they switched their entire OS base from Ubuntu over to Debian, and it's still more stable than most of the other alpha distros that I've tried lately. Now, that is, that is dedication. We're even going to give it the whole Debian sign. That is dedication. That is showing how amazing Cosmos and the other developer really are because they're really putting in all that extra work to make sure things are great. So... Yes, there's a lot of things that are currently missing, but this beta is stable. I've been gaming on it. I've been messing around with it. I absolutely love it to death and back. And if you guys want to try it, I do have it in my Discord, and it's in the PicoS Discord. Uh, for the PicoS Discord, it's in the ISO testing channel. It's in the pins. My channel, Linux not support, also in the pins. Okay. Ooh, I don't think that was the right picture. I really don't think that was the right picture. Yeah, it most likely wasn't. Let me just try to find another one. I really don't like how dull that is. Guild Wars 2 developers, listen, you guys need to learn how to deal with brightness and tone and everything else because mm, that just ain't it. No, no, no. Where? We got a good one here. I don't even know what that is. It looks like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, yeah, there's not really that many options. So, whoop. Da do. Yep, force quit this. Now, 
When will the final version be available? Hell, I don't know. But I will be doing some streams on here if I can uh, to show it off. I think that would be pretty cool. And oh, comes the package manager, by the way. And I want to check with this firmware thing here real quick. I want to see what this can do for us. So look at that. It's got a release. It's a high priority for my disk. I am currently on this one, so that's good. Uh, no release available for this one. Kind of cool. Advanced micro devices, nothing available. Nothing. Yeah, this. Oh, I can upgrade my secure boot. Well, that's nice. No, thank you. And uh, yes, failed to verify firmware. No release version found. Oh, well, that's annoying. My uh, my 3070s just like, nope, <laughs> which is completely fine. I don't mind at all. But this system firmware right here is annoying. It is the most annoying firmware upgrade ever. It told me that my battery wasn't working and my battery was working. Everything's charging. Everything was perfect. As you can see, I hold 100% charge. So I don't know what the hell that was about, but eventually it stopped. We got a little off course there, but you get what I mean. Um, as you can see, it comes with an Emacs terminal, GUI, client. I don't know if that's permanent or not. And uh, there's some APX stuff. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't even know why it's here. Start or open a subsystem. I don't know, even know what you are. I don't even know who you are. And if we continue looking, there's software updates come with the volume control. So of course you can go in and adjust everything that you need to make it work. Um, yeah, I, I think that this is gonna be a really good distro for the people that wanna stick to, you know, the Debian system in its entirety. Having a rolling up-to-date release is, well, probably gonna be pretty groundbreaking to be honest. And having a stable one at that, well, you, stable i mean that all depends on the user and their hardware and what they do as a whole but davinci's resolve runs affinity photo runs affinity designer runs photoshop runs um all my games run pretty much it does everything it should that i consider stable when the rest of the parts come into line and it really ends up being its whole self that will probably be really really amazing and I will love that even more. But as far as this goes right now, honestly, well done, Cosmos. Well done and well done, Ferrero. I don't know how to actually say your name. So, yeah, you're Ferrero. Ferrero Rocher. I don't know. But I'm off. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, strange little video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. It's super smooth at 165. Oh, one other thing. Yeah, one other thing. It comes with variable refresh rate automatically on if you have a display that supports it. Okay? So it is working right now and it's everything's so smooth. It's so nice. It's nice. I like it. It's crispy. Bye, everybody.